Hello and welcome to Basic Navigation presented by QMS Inc. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this. Let's get started. SAP R3 Basic Navigation provides the basic skills you need to navigate through SAP R3. These skills will enable you to complete role-based training courses and perform the roles required by your job. This SAP R3 Basic Navigation video will provide you with the skills to log on to SAP R3 and show you an overview of the SAP R3 screen components. This video also teaches you how to navigate through transactions, enter through, enter data using drop-down menus, change default settings, and use SAP R3 Help. Do please look at this video as a tool you can refer to again later to refresh your memory or to help you solve a specific problem. Learning objectives of this video are that after watching this, you will be able to log on and off of the SAP R3 system, change your SAP R3 password, identify key components of the SAP R3 screen, navigate to SAP R3 transactions, and understand the functions of drop-down lists and match code searches. Much like any other computer system, you log on and off of the SAP R3 system. This is simply a means of letting the system identify you. So I'm going to log in to this client and then this client right here is populated with a default value of 800 and in SAP a client is a self-contained unit in an SAP R3 system with separate master records and its own set of tables. The user is attached to your SAP R3 user profile which specifies the transactions you require in order to do your job. User profiles have specific authorizations to ensure both system integrity and company controls. Your password is required to log on to SAP R3. The first time you log on, you will type a default password. The system will prompt you to change this. Your password allows SAP R3 to keep track of everything that happens in the system under your name. Therefore, be sure to keep your password private and to log off when you are not using the system. Language will default to English if you leave this field blank. If you wish to change it, just um, enter the appropriate two-character code. The first time you log into SAP R3, you will use the initial password that will be given to you by the system administrator. SAP R3 will require you to change this password as part of the initial logon. Enter your password and hit enter. You will need a new password dialog. You will get a new password dialog box when, where you can change your password. That appears right about here. There are three ways of logging off on the SAP R3 system. The first is system and then log off. Second is to click this X button, and the third is to click this log off button. You should get a dialog box appears that asks you, do you want to log off, and just select yes. To add your email address, phone number, and all of your other user um, information, you can do so after logging in. by simply selecting system, user profile, and then own data. Or you can enter your title, last name, first name, all this good stuff. After entering your password, the system will display the SAP Easy Access screen, where you'll find your favorites and the SAP menu. The SAP Easy Access main screen, which is the first screen you access when you log on to the system, displays the following folders. Office, cross-application components, logistics, accounting, information systems, and tools. Clicking on any one of these folders causes a different folder to open, which will offer you further choices leading to additional folders and finally to a specific transaction.
Once you have reached the transaction you wish to execute, you can double click on it to open the transactions input screen. The SAP Easy Access main screen also provides you the option of using a favorites folder. If there are a few transactions that you use every day, such as QM01 or QM023, you can drag and drop these transactions into your favorites folder. Simple as that. The specific components you see on any given screen will vary from screen to screen. Let me close these down, make things simple for us. Depending on your specific screen resolution and font selection, you may have to scroll to see the bottom of the screen. QMS Inc. recommends that you maximize your SAP R3 window to see the full screen. This icon right here. This is the standard toolbar. This is the menu bar. This is the title bar. And this is the application toolbar. The menu bar provides access to a great variety of functions that are specific to the current screen and the function you are performing. The system menu and the help menu functions appear on all screens. A function with an arrow to the right indicates additional submenu listings, such as these right here. One method of navigating in SAP R3 is to select the functions from the menu bar. Each function on the menu bar has a drop down with additional options. The standard toolbar provides access to a variety of general functions such as the enter, the command prompt, which you can hide if you don't like it, the save icon, the back icon, the exit or log off icon depending on where you are in SAP R3, the print icon, the find icon, which allows you to look up a certain transaction in SAP menu path. It does take a second to find it. it. Takes you right to it. If you wanted to find another transaction that also uses that same code, you would just click find next and another transaction opens up in a different folder. And then we have the print icon, the first page, previous page, next page, last page, create new session, which opens up a new SAP screen in case you wanted to multitask. The generate This generates a shortcut, the help, and then the customized local layout. Let's move on to some common SAP R3 icons and screen elements. The enter icon, as, or it's called enter, enter, but I call it continue. So the enter icon confirms the data that you have selected or entered on the screen. Clicking on the continue icon allows you to proceed to the next screen. This icon is same as if you were to hit the enter key on your keyboard. The command field is used to frequently access SAP R3 transactions. Entering transaction codes into the uh, command field are one way of navigating through SAP R3. So I could enter QE51N, and then this transaction opens up. The save icon saves the data you entered on the SAP R3 screen. The back icon returns you to the previous screen without saving your data. The exit session or log off, depending on where you are, exit the current, it exits the current transaction without saving your data. The system returns to the first screen of the transaction or the main menu screen. 
the cancel icon exits the current task without saving your data but allows you to stay in the same transaction. The title bar displays the name of the screen where you are currently working. This The title changes as you navigate through different screens in a transaction. We'll do that right now. See how it changed? Pretty cool. The application toolbar displays icons that are specific to the current SAP R3 screen. All these icons are specific to this menu path. On some screens, icon may even appear within the SAP screen itself. There will be icons down here, such as these. The status bar at the bottom of your screen provides general information on the R3 system and transaction or task you are working on. The left side of the bar <coughs> excuse me, displays system messages. Let's go into one. It will be down here. This is the status bar down here. The right side of the bar contains three boxes that display status fields, server information, and the data entry mode. The system messages box displays three types of messages and you will get them in the left hand corner down here. The error message tells you that the entry needs to be corrected before you can proceed. This will show a red icon down here. The warning message, which will show a yellow icon, asks you if you want another value to be entered in the field. You do not need to enter a new value for the system to resume processing. You can hit the enter key to proceed. The information message, or a green icon, provides additional directions for you. No action is required and you can hit enter to proceed. There are two basic ways to navigate in SAP R3. Following SAP Easy Access User menu path, which you have seen earlier in this video using transaction codes. The transaction code will advance you directly to the required screen in one step. Most transactions have a four or five character alpha, alphanumeric transaction code associated with it. This code must be entered into the command field up here. If you know the transaction code, you can hit enter in the command field which I showed you earlier. Having navigated to a specific transaction, you will be presented with two types of input fields that require data to be entered, optional and mandatory. You will receive error messages on the status bar in the lower left hand corner if mandatory fields are left blank and will not be able to continue until you correct the error. In addition to entering data by typing it in directly, there are two methods of searching for the data you wish to fill into the input fields, such as these. The drop-down lists and match code searches. The drop-down list provides a list of all the values that can be used to populate a field. This is actually a match code search. When you see these tabs up here, it is a match code search. When you click this icon and you get a list, it will be a drop down list. So there are two ways of putting in, or sorry, looking up the data that you wish to enter. There's always, you can just type it in directly. The second method of entering data in SAP R3 is by searching for that data using a match code, like this tab here. Match code search functions are used when there are too many possible field values to be displayed in a simple list. So there are so many that a list, that a simple drop-down list would not 
be convenient for you at all. So you just filter out whatever you don't want. So you type in plant 3000 and then 3000 would come up. In this example, we can narrow down the search by specifying additional search criteria, like I just said. The icon on the top right corner of the page provides a menu of additional search options. Not in this one though, because this is SAP R3 specific to this field, so it will be different. You have now learned the basic skills you need to navigate through SAP R3. This video included an overview of logging on and logging off the SAP R3 system, changing your SAP R3 password, components of the SAP R3 screen, navigating in SAP R3, the functions of drop down lists, and match code searches in SAP R3. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe.